that scan so well. In today's video, we're gonna be testing out the true power of Unreal Engine 5 and Nerf. Using Nerfs created by Luma AI, we can take videos of anywhere in the world and turn that into a photorealistic volumetric rendering that then we can use in Unreal Engine. So in yesterday's video, we went around Vancouver and filmed three locations using our iPhone. The ferry stop, the park, and the parking lot. We then came back and created the neural radiance fields for each of these locations using Luma AI. Today, we're gonna be dropping these nerfs into Unreal Engine 5 and putting in cameras, lighting, characters to see how they perform. Let's fucking go. Now, let's go to the park in Yale Town. You never know, this might actually turn out to be the best one. The floor in the middle got messed up, but that's not bad at all. We still have the trees and everything. Let's take a look. Hmm, I don't know what to say about this. Now, let's go to the fairy stop. The one side that I actually wanted to capture, I ended up capturing. I don't know what this is. This is the, the water. This is like minimum effort. But even then, this looks so good. Yeah, this is like the yacht. I just recorded 11 seconds of it. I just want to take a shot. I'm just testing out shots to see how they will look. That's all. Can I make this look like this guy's beside the water? The water fairy stop actually fucking worked, man. Like, I just need some birds in the back with a bit of camera effects. It's gonna look really good. Can you guys believe that I took this shot in a couple of fucking seconds and I have this background to use? And like, I got the sun and everything reacting to it. I can make it like daytime. Make it nighttime, everything's like reactive. Bro, this is madness. We've done the ferry stop, which was fascinating to me considering how fucking short the video was. Literally, I just walked from here to here and back here, and that was the shot. That was it. And we managed to get a beautiful scene. Now, let's do the park. Make this bigger. Comes in very small. Whoa. No. No, that scans so well. Holy shit. Okay, that middle part is kind of fucked, but that's, that's partially my fault for not scanning it. Let me play with the light a little bit. I'm quite satisfied with how it's like building its own sort of like shape, even at the back. From this top view, this looks pretty cool. If I had the floor done properly, this would have been a dope shot. This is the camera. Dude, this looks pretty... Wow. Boom. I'm not a big fan of my light. Bring down the gamma a tiny amount. Exposure. Okay, let's add an object. Just like a sphere like that. I need this sphere to become my focus. Now, wherever we go, this guy is going to be in focus. Like to look at a certain object. So focus sphere, there you go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, what we need to do is this sphere needs to have a constraint. Just parent it to this character's head. And what's beautiful is it follows this guy's movements. Oh, wow. Wow. I like this. This shot's gonna be dope. All right, let me show you guys the result. Dynamic with environment. That is what I'm looking for. This looks awesome. Let's go down here. Holy smokes. This was all captured on an iPhone. A shaky iPhone footage. Now, does this look good? Not really. Not yet. Can it be used? Not in this current form. I would say I have to probably record this with a better camera. But it still is fascinating to me how these look. If this was captured properly, though, this would have looked so much better. The fact that we even have a bridge is crazy to me. Like, I'm on the phone, bitch. Don't bother me. This is interesting. Dude, imagine moving the world around the character. What a dope shot. 
I have a full on fucking background with detail right now. Like, this is fucking mad. And this is a shitty scan. Again, fuck. <laughs> He's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm the highest in the room. Hope I make it out of here. Mm. All right, let's see. We spent zero dollars and used the basic iPhone camera, nothing professional, to create multiple scenes with realistic lighting that are ready to go and shoot cinematics in. All within the same day. Now, are they perfect? Not yet, and that's partially my fault for not taking the best captures. But is this going to be a game changer? Fuck yes! For what? For music videos, virtual shows, video games, cinematics, all of these things can actually use these backgrounds, even for testing. Let's say it's not even for the final product. Let's say they just wanna use an environment to test some characters in. Instead of modeling, why don't you just fucking go around your own house, take a nerf, and boom, you have the whole environment ready to go without needing to model anything. This is going to speed up so many things. But if it's actually done properly, you can go ahead and use it for a final product. And that's what we're gonna be testing out. As a matter of fact, this week, we're gonna go ahead and use our DSLR and buy a gimbal so the footage is not shaky shaky. And we're gonna do some ambitious giant nerfs around Vancouver and probably in our own house as well. Then we're gonna record our own mocap using Rococo or Move AI and test these motherfucking scenes out with MetaHumans. So if you guys wanna see those scenes, make sure you guys use that subby subby if you want some lovey lovey. That was so lame. So if you guys want to see those scenes, make sure you guys subby subby if you want some lovey lovey. I tried it like three times, I'm gonna give up. Hit that fucking subscribe button, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. For fuck's sake, man. But jokes aside, what do you guys think about nerfs? Let us know down in the comments. And also if you have fucking tried them already. If you haven't, go ahead and try it, it's so easy to use. And big shout out to Luma AI for the tech. Like, you guys are crazy. All right, I gotta go, mom's calling. See you guys in the next video.